That's what I say when I go to the gas station now. Woo! That's some bullshit. I just came back from Iraq, y'all. Nah, I wasn't entertaining the troops. I was over there trying to get a gas hookup. Forget the damn troops. They ain't going nowhere. But my Hyundai need about 50 more cent worth of gas so I can get back to where the hell I live. How y'all doing tonight? Good, good, good. Two highest priced things in the country right now is gas and coochie, ain't it? I know, I've been selling coochie to get gas. <laughs> For real. Gas so high, I seen a guy yesterday stick his finger in the hole and try to get the rest out. He was just... Gas high. Now, where your kids at? Y'all got kids? Nope. Nobody got no kids? Got kids? You pay a babysitter? I do too. It's a belt. <laughs> I sit it by the front door and I say, look here, if y'all don't get it together, when I get back, the babysitter gonna whoop everybody ass in here. <laughs> I don't like kids. I got a 16-year-old son, so he play football and he run tracks, so he come in the kitchen the other day with a little chest all stuck out, to my mom. I said, what? I bench pressed 153 now. I said, oh really? He said, yes, yeah. so I chopped him in the throat. <laughs> he was holding his neck for 20 minutes. He said, why you do that? I said, I don't care what you bench press, but you need to work on your throat and your reflexes, okay? That's all I'm saying. Because somebody else would have took you out. I'm your mama, I ain't even hit you that hard. Look at you. He said, what you gonna do when I graduate high school? I said, change the locks. <laughs> what you thought I was gonna do? Show up at your graduation or something? <laughs> he said, do I gotta get out on my 18th birthday? I said, that's your damn birthday present. <laughs> Happy birthday, time to move, get on out. I don't want you in my house after 18, get out. You don't walk, we'll be walking around my house 22, 23, on a Saturday with a hard winky looking for Captain Crunch. <laughs> Look, they ain't laughing because some of y'all in y'all mama house right now. <laughs> so I'm teaching them how to cook. So we was cooking some fish and shrimp. So I say, cut the fish in three pieces. So he cutting it with the front of the knife. He said, it ain't cutting. I say, use the back of the knife. So he flipped the knife over like this. <laughs> and he was cutting. He said, it still ain't cut. I said, didn't I say use the back of the knife, the sharp part? He said, oh, the back, back of the knife. I said, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was supposed to say twice for you to get it. So get your dumb, dumb ass away from me. How about that? <laughs> Take that one with you. <laughs> Ladies, I think you should have a man for every bill. <laughs> if you got 17 bills, you should have 19 men. And it's easy to keep track of them. What I do is I list them in my phone according to what they pay. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll be like, I'm gonna call Cable, see what Cable doing. <laughs> hey Cable, what you doing? I'm gonna call insurance, see what insurance. Oh, DSL, I'm gonna call DSL. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call Red Lobster. I'm gonna call him too. <laughs> That's easy to keep track of them that way. I don't care, I'm 40 three years old. I ain't got no gray up here, but down here look like aluminum foil. <laughs> like you could wrap a turkey in it. <laughs> I, ain't I don't let a man do nothing over my house unless you pay for some once, and then that's the only stuff you can do. So if you pay my light bill, you can come over and cut the lights on but you can't watch no cable because you ain't paid the cable bill. <laughs> so go play with the lights to time to go. <laughs> I like having sex with a man by the front door so he can get out when I'm done. <laughs> he gonna tell me what I'm gonna clean myself with. I'll be like, here goes some Windex and paper towel. You can just clean your nuts off in the car. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, who are you? And Edward, are you, did you have permission to take a picture of me? I work for the newspaper, it's free. Oh, really? And what newspaper is that? There's only one in LA, Los Angeles Times. The Los Angeles Times, and you're working for free? 
with the price of gas? <laughs> Edward, you're gonna have to give me a dollar or something. You just can't take no free pictures of me. I'm sorry, you might got everybody else picture, but you're gonna have to hook me up. Cause I know you're gonna be putting my body in J-Lo's face on the internet. <laughs> Y'all know J-Lo wanna be black. <laughs> That's my dollar and don't you touch it, Penelope. <laughs> all right, I told y'all I ain't no good. I'm just like a guy. Like, ladies, you ever go over a guy's house and have sex with him, he don't give you nothing to clean yourself with? I just wipe my coochie on his pillow. You <laughs> be like, you need something? No, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm quite all right. I don't give a damn, I wipe it on the end of the couch. We, we can be playing Xbox, just. I don't need nothing, I'm all right. All right, guys like abuse, don't you? They like abuse, see, look, oh, uh hi, -huh, sure. These two are gonna beat the shit out of me later. <laughs> That's okay. You're white. <laughs> we know what you guys do. Well, that's why you're at the shore getting drunk with dad. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah, y'all see Whitney Houston in the paper? Yeah. yeah, with all the cracking stuff around her in the in the bathroom. That's kind of crazy, ain't it? I wrote a song about it about two minutes ago. Y'all want to hear it? Yeah. It's coming out last Thursday at Walmart. All right. A few stolen moments is all that I share. Me in the bathroom didn't know the cameras were there. <laughs> Though I tried to resist, I just took one more hit. <laughs> now my lips are chapped in black and blue. Cause I smoked up all the crack from you. Hold on, calm down. Second verse. <laughs> it's not very easy living all alone. I see shit in my house when I know I'm home alone. But each time I go dry, I just break down and cry. Cause I'd rather be smoking with Bobby too. But I smoked up all the crack from him too. All right, now I'm gonna give y'all a chance to participate. I said I smoked up all the crack. Come on. I smoked up all the crack. Bruce Lee. I smoked up all the crack from you. <laughs> Y'all can pick that up next Thursday at Target in the school supply section. Alrighty, did I get a phone yet? No, I guess D. Milton ain't in here. Edit out what I just fucking said. <laughs> Cause I never know what I'm gonna say. You know, I got certain things that just like push me to say shit, like weed. <laughs> what are weed smokers? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Rasta party after this. I wrote a song about it about two minutes ago. Y'all were here? Huh? All right. It's the last one. I'm going to go. All right. Uh, how it go?
No, I'm just with y'all. I know how it go. Let me drink some water while I think. Uh, yeah, you got that right. But I don't like that word cotton. I'm black. Keep that word to yourself. All right, y'all. Now I was just messing with y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I hope y'all have a good time. You can... You can pick up my songs. It's called Cookies Ghetto Hymns at Target in the school supply section. All right, y'all have a good night. My name is Cookie. Peace.